Hi everybody, my name is Nikki. Um, today we're gonna do kind of a powerful all levels class um, geared towards getting into a pose called Bird of Paradise. So we'll do lots of the prep work and um, hopefully see where else we get to. Uh, so we're gonna get started right away. I'm gonna get you to start in uh, just a standing forward fold. So um, somewhere near the top of your mat, if you don't have a mat, even just a clear and comfortable space to practice is fine. Uh, softening the knees as much as feels like it makes sense and just sort of pouring the body over the space of the legs. So sometimes that requires a bigger bend in the knees. Right? Head can hang heavy, so sometimes shifting or sort of nodding or shaking the head to surrender through the neck. You can grab opposite elbows here if you'd like or just let the arms hang heavy. Sort of noticing where in the back body this stretch catches you. And just taking five, six, seven good breaths here, in and out. chance to surrender into what's about to unfold, you know, which can mean a lot of different things. Sometimes we have to sort of allow ourselves permission to step into more fire and strength, and sometimes we need to give ourselves space to take what we need, which can be a far off place from maybe where ambition or our goals are trying to lead us. On your next inhale, find a halfway lift, right? A flat back, knees still soft. And exhale, fold and release. Right? You can bend the knees as deep as you'd like. Halfway lift, and I am playing a little with where the weight is in my feet, mostly just exploring and lighting up some of the tiny muscles and legs, hips. And a fold as you breathe out. One more halfway lift. This one we're going to hold. Navel to spine, crown long, shoulders sliding away from the ears. Right? I have long enough arms sometimes that I can find the earth, but really to find a halfway lift, they don't quite reach. So hands at the shins maybe for a breath or two, or the thighs. But ultimately we're coming to the low back. So the hands are going to slide to the low back, fingers pointing away, or the same way as the tailbone, and then the elbows squeeze towards the sky. And trying not to let the sort of head jut forward so the chin is tucked towards the chest. It's another breath. And then coming all the way up to standing, right? Soften through the knees, careful with the low back. Gaze can lift and eventually the arms will follow that. Taking a few big breaths in and out. And trying to lengthen the tailbone a little bit here towards the earth. So there's a sense of the front of the legs rising energetically. You might even notice the kneecaps lift a little. And then when you're ready, you exhale, the arms come behind the back, interlacing the fingers and squeeze the elbows in. Now the thumbs are at the low back here. Another breath. Good, we're gonna fold again. So hands can stay at the low back. Or if the shoulders have space already, you can fly them off the back body here. And another option is to release the palms to the low back like we started with, and to keep the elbows squeezing to the sky from there. Another breath, and then we release. Right? Finding a halfway lift, planting the hands, stepping the right foot back to lunge, right knee lands. Right? And the arms will come up either to that front thigh or if you're ready, extending them to the sky. Another breath, and we'll come into half split. So when you exhale, front leg straightens, you're gonna fold forwards. Hands can find the earth by the knee, ankle, or maybe reaching further than that. Like trying not to let the hips come too far out of line here, so there's still a sense of squareness. And then bending back into that left knee, arms come back up and overhead. Nice big breath in and out. One more fill up and then planting the hands to step forwards. Halfway lift, hands to the low back, elbows squeezing. 
Exhale, fold, keeping the elbows drawing to the sky. Coming all the way up, extended mountain to reach. And then folding forwards. Halfway lift. Hands plant, left foot back to lunge, right? Left knee lands. When you're ready, rising up, hands to the front thigh or arms extending here. Right? Shoulder blades sliding into the heart. Just our first deep stretch to the front of that left thigh. Another breath. And then half splits, fold, front leg straightens, right? You might still have a bend in this knee. Keep that right hip hugging back. You want to lengthen through the front body, just like we do in any fold. Last breath. Good. And bending back into the front knee, arms come back up and overhead. Another breath. And then plant the hands and step forwards, right? Halfway lift, hands to the low back or interlace the fingers. When you fold, fly the arms off the body or squeeze the elbows to the sky, right? Inhale to come all the way up. And we'll do that a couple more times. Exhale to fold, little more rhythm. Halfway lift, hands plant, right foot back, low lunge, inhale up, exhale stay, inhale more length, half splits, exhale fold, breath in and out, back to the low lunge, one more breath in, and then plant the hands to step forward. Halfway lift, interlace the hands or hands at the low back and fold. All the way up, extended mountain, big reach. All the way forwards into that second side, right? Halfway lift, hands plant, left foot goes back to lunge. Drop the knee, inhale, rise. Exhale, stay. More reach, inhale. Half splits, right leg starts to straighten. Take care of the knee and the hamstring. Next, inhale to lunge. Exhale, stay. One more in. And then plant the hands to step forwards. Halfway lift, interlace. And fold, shoulders drawing together, collarbones lengthen. All the way up, inhale, reach. Last time through, little more rhythm. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Hands plant, right foot back to lunge. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half splits. Slow breaths, always okay to grab an extra one here. Inhale. Plant the hands, step forwards. Halfway lift, maybe you interlace the hands. Maybe you've had enough in the shoulders for now. Rising up, big breath in, exhale, fold forwards. Last time through that second side, lift, inhale. Hands plant, left foot back, low lunge, inhale, rise. Half splits, exhale, nice and slow, long breath. Always okay to grab another one here. But when you're ready, an inhale brings you back to lunge. And exhale, plants the hands, step forwards. Last time, interlace the hands, hands at the low back, or just fold. <sighs> Inhale, up, extended mountain. Exhale, fold forwards. Halfway lift. Hands plant, stepping that right foot back to lunge, this time high. Nice big breath. Inhale, rise. So, Plugging the thighs into center, extending the arms up. Two big breaths here, finding that sense of strength in the legs. You might want to widen the stance to find a little bit more balance here. Right, then the arms are going to come out in front. Try to keep my shoulders over my hips, which sometimes means a bend in the back knee. Shoulders are plugged in and my navel is drawing the spine as my hip bones lift a little to find containment. Nice big breath in. And when you exhale, draw your left arm back. Hand can stop in line with the shoulder or come back even further. Right, inhale forwards. Three more, exhale to twist towards that left leg. Inhale, taking care of the neck and the shoulders and out. Good, one more time in. One more time to twist, stay. Now take the arms up and overhead here, in. And down, squeeze navel to spine. Good, two more, in. 
and out. Last time, in and out. Good, left arm forwards, and we'll open up to warrior two. So it's gonna be fiery in the legs here. Right, make sure you line up the feet. So generally front heel with the arch of the back foot, give or take. Right, you want that front knee reaching forwards, but it's also drawing towards the pinky side of that front foot. The energy comes from the outer left leg. Right, arms in line with the earth. Don't let that left arm pull you forward, settle over the hips. Gaze over that front middle finger. Think of warrior two as an extension. So pull the spine long. One more breath. Good, and then a little reach forwards, left forearm to thigh, right arm up, draw the body long, anchor the right foot down, so pinky edge side grounded, and now extend the right arm forwards. All right, think of pressing that top shoulder back in space, navel trying to twist a little towards the sky, All right, neither shoulder sliding towards the ears. Two more breaths. And then back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, drop this front hip a little or a lot, right? As you reach forwards, come as far as you can, center of the body is strong, and then left arm down, right arm reaching. Woo! <laughs> Feet anchored. <laughs> Gaze can shift up to the right hand. Right? This left hand might be on the earth, might be on the shin, but it's not really um, collapsed there, it's just connection. I have a lot of issues with my neck, so you'll often see me take you know, the modifications depending on the day. <laughs> Doing okay this morning. <sighs> Two more breaths here. It's one of my favorite poses. <sighs> Good, and strong, right? So extend that front arm forwards, then come up to warrior two. Take a breath in and out. Yeah, now straighten the front leg. So the toes turn in a little bit. It's the pinky edge side of the feet in line with the short edge of the mat. Nice big breath to lengthen the body. And then as you exhale, anchor the feet and start to fold, right? When you get halfway, make sure to tuck the chin towards the chest so the neck is long. Another breath, pull the body longer. My hips stay in line with my heels and then I fold. So I don't have a lot of mobility and space in this pose, but some of you might. You know, hands would come under shoulders. Some of you are gonna start to get the crown close to the earth here as you fold deep. You know, once the crown of the head comes to the earth to advance this pose, you actually shorten the stance, and then it requires you to find more length again as you fold. Right, so my sits bones are rising, crown tips forwards, another breath, and then coming up halfway. We'll take a few breaths, hands to the heart, or if you want a little bit of work for the shoulders, extend them forwards. I soften my knees a little bit here. Two breaths. And then rising up and coming into warrior two, facing the other way as you exhale. Good, another breath. Find that sense of pulling the fingers long, crown lifted, legs are strong. Remember this front knee is widening here. I'm working to press it over that front ankle. It's always a little further than you think it is. Good. And then our first side angle, reach forwards, front form of the thigh, start straight up so you can lengthen along the cross of the front of the body and then extend that left arm forwards. Left heel, left pinky edge side of that left foot anchored down. Right, I'm really uh, letting that right shoulder slide away from the ear. Right, thinking of twisting open here, heart opening to the sky. Two more breaths. Good. and then rising up for warrior two for a moment, and then triangle pose. Straightening the front leg, this front hip drops. I'm gonna shorten my stance just a tiny bit. Reaching forward as far as you can. And so the shortening for some of us, especially if your stance is long in warrior two, sometimes makes more sense for triangle. It's just an option. Again, taking care of the neck. Crown is lengthening forwards. I'm anchored through the outer foot, so the outer left leg is strong. Good. It's strong to rise, right? Front arm forwards, then warrior two. Take a breath in and out. And then leave the legs, plant the hands inside of the right foot. 
You can stay straight here or maybe just collapsing into the elbows, letting the head hang heavy. Good. Hands to either side of the right foot. Shorten the stance for pyramid pose, right? So you wanna be able to anchor the back foot down. It's on a little bit of an angle. My right hip is hugging back up in line with the left. Right. I'm deep enough to find the earth, but often here finding a halfway lift, hands to the heart of the hips, is a great place to start. You know, as you fold deeper, hugging that right outer thigh up and back, pulling the stomach towards the right thigh, you might start to reach for the shin, the ankle, you might have blocks, or eventually, absolutely, the earth shows up here under the hip. Get two more breaths wherever you are in pyramid. And then stepping that left foot forwards next to the right, halfway lift and fold all the way up, extended mountain, nice big reach all the way forwards here. Halfway lift, hands plant, left foot goes back. Ooh. <laughs> when you're ready, rising up by lunge, I have some company here. So pulling the body along, thighs are plugged in, remember. <laughs> Always seems to come around when I'm doing this. <laughs> All right, so arms out in front, shoulders over hips, which might mean bending a little through the back knee. I didn't say this on the first side, but a low lunge here is a great alternative. Nice big breath in. When you exhale, right arm reaches back. Nice twist. Hand can stop in line with the shoulder or maybe the full extension. Inhale forwards. Exhale, reach back. Try not to let the shoulders shift. Two more. In and out. Last one. In and out. Good. Big breath in. Arms up. So, so much strength in the center of the body here. Arms up again. One more time. In. Arms up. Good. Come back. Big breath in. And then the right arm shifts forwards. Inhale. I'll try not to fall over. <laughs> Warrior two, open up. So again, front heel lining up with the arch of the back foot is a starting point, but then you find your strength from there, right? You might shift. Stance might be wider than that. Another breath. We'll do triangle first this time. So straighten the front leg. If you need to adjust the stance, go ahead. Reach that front arm forwards and then dropping down. All right, maybe now finding space to reach the earth, but it's very light. I'm on my fingertips here. All right, my right thigh or right femur is hugging up and into the pelvis here. Both feet are rooted. Pinky at side of the left foot anchored down. Left arm straight up or maybe overhead for the last few breaths here. Good, and then getting ready to rise, make sure it's strong, front arm forwards, <laughs> and then rising up for warrior two. And now side angle, so slow reach forwards, right forearm to the front thigh, or the hand now to the earth. All right, take that left arm along the ear, use the leverage in the left foot to twist open here. Left shoulder back in space. Last breath. And rising up nice and slow, straightening that front leg. We'll move into warrior two, second side. Right, notice if you need to shift or adjust, right? Don't just assume you're in the right place. Check in with the body here. And now triangle first, so straightening the front leg, reaching forwards, and then dropping that front arm down. Right arm up. You can notice I don't have as much depth on this side, very normal. I'm pulling the body long, crown reaching forwards. And then that lateral stretch, so just a nice extension through the right side for a few extra breaths. Really using the big breaths to fill the right lung. Right. When I come up, it's strong, so extending the front arm forwards to warrior two. Reset, find the legs, 
And now side angle pose. This time I'm going to reach for the earth. So extending long. My right foot is anchored. I'm using that as leverage to reach. Heart opening towards the sky. Navel drawing to the back body and helping me find the twist here as well. And back to warrior two. And then hands land inside that front foot and just dropping into the elbows here. So nice deep stretch. And then slowly shifting the hips towards square. Last pose here, pyramid. So that right foot comes forwards to shorten the stance. All right, maybe a halfway lift, long spine. So there's that sense of gently tucking the chin to the chest, right? Heart pressing towards the thumbs. If you have space, as your sort of stomach draws towards that front thigh and collarbones draw to the toes, you might notice space to fold deeper here. Last breath. And then the right foot steps forward to next to the left. Halfway lift. Fold. Good. Scooping up the big toes with the peace fingers here. It's accessible in the body. Now you can soften the knees. You want this sense at the beginning at least of pressing stomach to thighs. And elbows draw towards the walls. Shoulders move away from my ears. And I tuck my chin into my chest. And then as I breathe, maybe trying to keep my stomach pressing towards my thighs, I start to straighten the legs as I fold deeper. A few breaths. The body is going to look for the easiest path, so trying to stay present in the choices you are making everywhere. And even those that allow you to surrender and soften. And release the toes, halfway lift, plant the hands, step the right foot back, and drop the right knee down. You're going to turn the right shin about parallel with the short edge of the mat and rise up from there. So it's warrior two, but from the earth. So my back shin is parallel with the short edge of the mat. Right? You can use a blanket or something soft under the knee if you want to. And this front knee, just like in warrior two, moves towards the pinky of side of that front foot. So it's a deeper stretch in the inner groin here. And then we'll come back. So the right hand is going to land at the back of the mat. Left arm is going to reach up and overhead. Right? Pull the side body long. Open the heart a little bit here and take a few big breaths. You really want to feel this along the left side. Strong and stretch. Oh my goodness. Good. And then rising back up, we'll leave that front leg straight. You're going to reach forward, so just like triangle pose. With this one, I often flex my heel and then coming down. So left arm down, right arm reaching here. Oh my goodness. So try to pull the body long across the collarbones here. All right, another breath. And then we're going to come into side angle pose from here. So you're going to bend back into the front knee, left hand on the earth or up to the thigh, and you're going to extend through the right side body now. All right, keeping in mind that, you know, there's a way this pose looks, but it's going to look different in every body. So be willing to shorten Lengthen the stance here to make sense out of it. We'll take a couple more breaths. And then we'll just shift to one last pose here. So resetting the right shin, hands inside of the left foot. You're going to turn the left toes out and we're going to sink nice and deep into the hips here. Again, just looking for a lot of the space we need in the hips 
and legs to find that deep bind, which we're going to find, hopefully, in Bird of Paradise. And then finding your way up to the hands, we'll step forwards to squat. So just move slowly here. It might be one big step, might be a couple little steps. Hips sit, the heart lifts towards the thumbs. And we're trying to press the knees open here and find this sense of stretch across the front of the groin. Another breath. And just lift sort of halfway and try to bring your biceps inside your inner thighs, right? Hands can be on the earth. You might notice you have space already to bring the hands behind the heels. It's a pretty big stretch, but it might be there. And just a few breaths, little rock side to side. And then fold to release. And then the left foot comes back. Left knee lands. Then we'll take that left shin parallel short edge of the mat and rise up for warrior two from here so sinking into that front knee arms reaching forward and back nice and strong through that inner right leg good and then straightening the front leg reaching back to find the side body stretch here right arm extending Little opening of the heart to the sky, nice and strong to the right side. Right, I'm lengthening my tailbone here just so my low back doesn't carry the load. Yeah. And then restacking. I'm going to flex my left foot as I reach forwards for this sort of triangle pose from here. So right hand can find the earth block. Right, you can soften this knee and the foot can be grounded. And then last pose here, this sort of side angle variation. So coming back into the right knee, hand inside the foot or taking the forearm to the front thigh, and then left arm up or finding that full reach along the side body here. slowly releasing into the lunge. So coming to the hands, squaring the hips, the right toes will turn out. You can stay on the hands or if you have space, finding the forearms here. Stepping forwards to squat one more time. Heart lifts towards the thumbs. Nice big breath in and out. And then fold forwards to release. Halfway lift and fold all the way up, extended mountain. Drop the hips for chair pose. Bring the big toe mounds to touching. Little space between the heels. I can see my toes when I look down, so my hips are pressed back in space. Hands to the heart, take a moment. And then right hand comes to the low back, fingers pointed down. Left hand comes to the outer right knee, but I'm gonna flip my palm out. Squeeze the legs together, try to keep the knees in line. Nice big breath in. Exhale, left hand slides down the outer leg. Maybe you tap the earth. Inhale back up, and exhale to twist, pressing that right shoulder back in space. Inhale back up, and two more times, exhale, twist. Back up, last one, twisting to stay. So a couple options, wherever you are, you could bring the hands to prayer if your outer upper left arm is on the outer knee, right? And then you're using that leverage to twist. 
You could have left the arms wide here. So we're going to step the left foot back to lunge. So hands will come to prayer if you can. Otherwise, you're a little higher, left hand to the outer thigh, right hand to the low back. Right? Consider also maybe unraveling and then coming back into the twist for the transition. So if you are here, you can stay steady, gaze down, lifting the left heel, nice and strong, hugging it in towards the butt, and then a nice step back to lunge. Right? If you stepped back to lunge first, come into the twist. Drop the left knee down. Find more depth. Turn the heart towards the right. Shift the gaze. Good. Lift the back knee back up. Gaze comes down. Let's step forwards. All right? If you can, you do it in the twist. And then fold and unwind over the legs. Halfway lift. Then fold. Lift all the way up, extended mountain. Then chair pose, hips drop, big toes touching, heels apart. Hands to the heart, find the sense of lifting. And then right hand to the outer leg, palm out, left hand to the low back, nice big breath in. Exhale, right arm slides down the leg, maybe as deep as tapping the earth. Inhale, back up. Right, trying to keep the legs in line. Right, A little shift is okay, sometimes it's natural, but just make sure you're aware of what's happening. Last two. And one. Right, staying here, wherever you've landed. You could fly the arms wide. Hands to prayer might feel nice. In order to transition, you need some kind of lock on the outer right leg. So my upper right bicep is there. If you want to unwind before you step back to lunge, go for it. If you're staying in the bind, right heel lifts, you hug it in and step back. So however you got there, find the twisted lunge. Right, outer right bicep to the knee. Drop that back knee down. Ooh, fiery in that quad. Pick the back knee up and step forwards. Fold and unwind over the legs. Breath in and out. Halfway lift, fold, plant the hands, right foot back for warrior two. Let's reverse, reach up and back. Straighten that front leg and leave the legs straight for triangle pose. And then one more time, side angle pose, nice deep reach. If you can, take the right arm behind the back. See if you can find that inner left thigh. Press that top shoulder back in space. Good. And then warrior two to rise and switching sides. Reverse, front palm to the sky, reach up and back. Straighten that front leg, reach back further, and that's where you bring your triangle from this time. Now side angle pose, nice deep reach. And if you can, front arm or top arm behind the back, maybe finding that inner right thigh. Good, back to warrior two. And straighten that front leg and pause. So we often take um, birth paradise from warrior two. I'm gonna build the first transition from the squat. Um, you can use a strap for this one, I won't, but I'll cue it so that you know what to do. So, toes will turn out. And we'll drop the hips down into a squat here. You want the arms or upper arms inside the knees and just a few breaths here to shift the weight, kind of one last waking up and release through the low back. All right, so getting ready for this um, last big pose here. Um, I did grab a strap just so that I can demo a little bit with the prop, a little bit without. 
Um, so we are actually going to start from a squat. Um, so if you're using a strap, you're going to grab it in your left hand. And from your squat, you're just going to lift maybe like halfway. You want to bring the right arm under the right thigh, right? And you bring the bicep under the thigh. And I often use my hand behind the ankle for a little bit of extra leverage. Right? The left arm is going to wrap behind the back. And so I'll show you from behind. Right? And as the right arm comes under, you sweep up palm facing back. And the left arm comes behind the back. And you're going to grab the strap from there. Right? It is also possible some of you able to find the actual clasp. So left leg starts to stand. You come up on the ball of the right foot and kind of the work we did um, in um, the step forwards with the lunge, it's the same sort of engagement through the core and strength in that standing leg, right? So you start to lift. It's a slow rise up, right? You can start with the standing leg a little bit bent and soft to find where you want to be with the shoulders, arms, and the bind. And then you need to power up and straighten the left leg, lengthen along the collarbones. All right, so it's a lot of work here. Right, you don't straighten this lifted leg until the spine is long and the standing leg is strong. And then maybe starting to extend. And so for a lot of us, that leg is not going to get straight just yet. But working with the energy to lengthen through the back of the leg as you work to straighten it is good practice. Few breaths wherever you are, and then a slow release down. Right, straightening the legs, finding a fold, releasing the arms. Sometimes I grab opposite shoulders and just find a little love. And then moving into the second side. Right, so from the front, right now it's my left arm from the squat that's going to come under the left thigh. Right, so lifting up a little bit here. If you're using a strap, it's now in the right arm and it reaches behind the back. As the left arm comes under the left thigh, so you can see I'm above the knee, right? The hands or the strap finds each other behind the back body, right? And so there's a clasp of hands, right? If you're working just with the opening, you stay here and you just shift the weight into the right leg. Right? As you build strength, you're going to actually start to float that left leg up. So starting with a little soft bend in the right knee, especially as I adjust my left shoulder, making sure I'm safe and steady. And then powering up to straighten the left leg, I lengthen across the collarbones, lift the gaze. Right? Maybe powering up that lifted leg to find the extension. Ooh, and see, I'm sacrificing a little bit of the right leg strength, so trying to power up and straighten. And then a slow release, right? Again, surrendering. One thing to keep in mind here, you know, every sequence we use to build poses, you know, they arrive differently in different bodies. We show up on our mats in different ways. So, you know, just be willing to, you know, acknowledge that, you know, not getting into this pose today, you know, doesn't mean it's not in the body. It doesn't mean there isn't a different way for you to build towards it. And acknowledging also that, you know, getting into a pose isn't the only reason we show up on our mats. So on any given day, there's a whole host of other reasons to be here and show up, um, other than just finding some of these cool shapes. All right, so coming to the top of the mat, We'll take a few breaths here. You know, after we try some of these poses that are often in some way out of reach, you can see for me that was a really challenging pose and didn't even fully get into it. You know, it's a good time to reflect on sort of how we feel. You know, what we're left with after the struggle, you know, is there disappointment or frustration? Can we be present in what's showing up here, which is often the energetic impact of these poses and all of the things we did to try to prepare our body for them? Right? Can you be here? Can you accept what is being offered without reaching for what isn't meant to be yours just yet? 
And then on your next inhale, the arms extend, just a gentle reach. Gaze can lift if you'd like. And an exhale to fold forwards. A halfway lift fill. And then a fold. All the way up, extended mountain, big reach. All the way forwards. Halfway lift. And fold. One last time. Extended mountain. Nice big reach. Fold forwards. Halfway lift. High plank. Nice big breath in. And then all the way lower down. Arms extend back alongside the body. Palms down. It's gentle. Lift the heart, roll the shoulders down and away from the ears. Hands and feet are anchored. So my top of my feet are pressing down. My outer ankles are rolling in as my inner calves roll up to keep the legs straight, long and steady here. Right. Think of cultivating an inhale. So longer, bigger breath in if you can. Last one. And release. We'll do one more here. So inhale, lift the heart. If you'd like, right? No ambition, but you can lift the arms. Just a gentle reset through the chest. One more breath. And then release. Hands on our shoulders, tuck toes, pressing up to table. Nice big breath in. And then down dog. And finding a seat, looking forwards and hop, step or walk. Okay, we'll bring the bottom of the feet together. Knees can fall out and just a gentle fall forwards here. Back body rounded. And then as you restack the spine, making your way all the way down onto the back body here. Just take a few breaths, feet on the earth, knees can drop in. All right, the beginning of settling down. Knees can stack over hips when you're ready. And you want this sense when we do this work of pressing the low back into the earth here. So hands will come to the thighs and you're gonna press the thighs away as you drop or sort of energetically pull the thighs towards you. The low back might flatten here. Two more breaths. And then release. And getting ready for your last surrender. So. Maybe stretching the body out long for Shavasana, arms long, palms to the sky, legs long and wide. You know, if it's your practice to do so after a physical practice, maybe coming to a seat for meditation. But wherever you are, find a few breaths, be willing to pause, right? To take a look at how you've arrived, to acknowledge what you cultivated in your practice and how because of it, you will be stepping back into your day and the world a little differently than you arrived on your mat. Take as long as you need and slowly, mindfully, only when you're ready, you move back into the world. As always, thank you for joining me. I hope you got something that served you, something you needed, and something that you can take into the world. <laughs>